Hey everybody, Marvin here from Wiscoat and uh, current UAG 2021 member. So very excited for that. And I wanted to share with you three things to remember when naming your business. In our industry, it's really tricky because there's not very many business names you can stray from and go to. So um, let's just kick it off right away. The first one is make it relatable to your area. So whether that's the area that you work geographically or the field that you're in, that should really be in your wheelhouse and be in your brain for brainstorming on what you wanna do for your business name because you could use seal coating, whether it was, let's say we're in Dubuque, uh, we're gonna use Dubuque seal coating. That hits two things. That hits the area that we live in and what we do. Now, mine's Dubuque Asphalt Maintenance here, so we have asphalt in there as well. You don't always have to include the actual geographic physical area. I mean, you can make it whatever. If you guys are the Panthers around here or whatever for your mascot, then you could have it, you know, Panther seal coating or something like that. But if you can knock both of those out in one name, um, it really helps out, especially with the next tip, which I'll get to in a second. The other kind of tidbit about uh, that first thing is if you're not going to use the area that you're in, really make it memorable. So make it something that really stands out and that people are going to remember. Um, try not to use your name, your whether it's your first name, whole name, or your last name, or whatever. And I'll get to that on the third point, why you shouldn't do that. But also, um, just so that for the second tip, it really helps out as well. Try not to use your name. But also, try not to use things like budget, or affordable, or quality. Um, I know those are great sounding things, but for what most people have had an experience with, especially in my industry, is that when those things are said in the name, they're often not quality and they're often not affordable or budget friendly or anything like that. So that's the first tip. I'll, I'll reiterate. <laughs> um, make sure that it's something that's memorable, but also relatable to the area that you're in and that it could be the service that you provide as well. Make it relatable to that. And don't use tags like um, budget, affordable, quality, I don't really know the other one, like super awesome, I guess, or something like that. Um, try not to use those. And the second tip, which plays into the first tip, is try to pick a name that is ideal for SEO, which is search engine optimization. So Google, Yelp, um, even YouTube, um, Yahoo, whatever search engines that you're going to be part of. Um, you know, try to pick one that has searched words for what you do in the name. Um, let's, let's say we'll take Dubuque for an example again. Let's say we're in Dubuque and somebody looks up seal coating. If they type in Dubuque seal coating and that's your business name, chances are you're going to be up there pretty quick. If they type in Dubuque asphalt or, you know, paving in Dubuque or asphalt maintenance in Dubuque, you're going to pop up there. It's going to be really great for your search engine optimizations. Now, even if you don't have Dubuque, let's say you're in Dubuque, but you have Panther. I don't know why I keep saying Panther, but we'll use that as the mascot. Let's say you have Panther seal coating. Um, seal coating is still in there that's going to help you pop up as well so that's the second tip and the third tip and this is probably my favorite tip and one that I took to heart the most um, when you pick your business name try to pick one with the selling mentality and not so much selling the work or selling the jobs or anything like that but mainly that if down the line you become successful at this business uh, you know under your business name that if somebody does make you an offer for your business or maybe you know the fact that they don't have to change the business name or it doesn't have your personal name in it you know if you try to sell let's say joel's asphalt and i'm no longer going to be there <clears throat> excuse me i'm no longer going to be there it makes it pretty you know it doesn't really gel that great because i'm no longer going to be there that's going to be the business name it's going to be a knock on what they can offer now let's say they're local to where you are and you are panther asphalt or panther seal coating that's an easy transition, especially if they are a company that's outside of your industry trying to purchase you to um, extend their services or get into this field. They can keep that business name the same. Everything is smooth, a nice transition and keeps going. And it really brings up the value of what your business would be uh, for sale anyways. So um, I'll go through them all again real quick. The three tips that, that I said, the first one, make it relatable to the area that you are when you're naming your business or the area that you're in. So 
seal coating or asphalt or lawn care or landscaping or whatever in the physical you can do that as well you know if let's say you wanted to do land works and you were in i don't know chicago and you named your business chicago land works at least it has the chicago part in it because they're going to look for landscaping in chicago and that's going to help you out um, that way and it, it'll be memorable that way too and don't use tags like budget affordable or quality the second thing is seo think about search engine optimization if you don't know what that is google that real quick and you'll understand why you want a business name that clicks well with search engine optimization so that if people are typing in their phones what they want you know and your name gels really well with that it brings you up to the surface and the third thing think long term think about selling your business down the line and that if you were to do that, how you could get the most value out of it. My opinion is make a business name that you can sell. So with Wiscoat, it's very easy for me to sell that to somebody in Wisconsin, whether they're in my industry or they're outside my industry. They don't have to change very much and that brand is there. They can keep that brand and it keeps rolling strong. Same thing with right here. So those are the three tips. I hope you really found them useful. Once again, if you are watching this video, on YouTube or wherever, um, go over to the Echo Means Business site. And if you are watching on YouTube, turn on notifications, whether they're in that corner or that corner. And uh, you know, then you can stay up to date with videos like these and more uh, from my peers. So thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully we get some more out here and uh, hopefully it brought you some value. Thanks again.